So, I'm back on YouTube. As you can see from this video, you girl's back. I know it's been a while, sorry about that. I've been going to school, been working a lot, graduated cosmetology school, that's a plus. Yeah, I went to makeup school, so figured, why not start my YouTube back up again? I got some time now. So, yeah, this is what's going on. Yeah, this is one of my favorite looks to do. Um, I wear this look probably two to three times a week. Uh, it's literally my go-to. Um, with this look, uh, every time I do it, I use the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is this beautiful, warm, orange, plum, beautiful, uh, fall, bury me, love it. Amazing palette. Love this palette. Um, yeah. You wanted to see how I achieved all of this? Then keep on watching. Don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but whatever. You can keep watching if you like. <laughs> so I already have this eye done. This is kind of what it looks like finished. Um, but on this side, I already applied my primer. And then I just set my eye with a base colored shadow. Alrighty, let's get started. I'm going to start out with these two colors right here and mix those into the crease. So I'm starting out with a MAC 217 that kind of looks like this, just a dense little tapered fluffy brush. One of my favorites. And I'll start it like right in the crease area and kind of lighter motions towards the center. What am I saying? The inner corner. Just very, very gently. Next, I'm going to take um, that more orange color, Burnt Orange, just by itself. And stick that in the crease. And then make sure that's diffused up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to be taking this It Cosmetics brush. I'm not really sure which brush it is. I rubbed the name off the handle a little bit, so I'm not really sure what it is. We've had it so long. Um, it's like a fluffy blending brush, just like this. It's a little dirty from the other eye, but that's okay. I wiped it off. So I'm just gonna take this, do some circular motions to blend those colors together. I'm gonna take Burnt Orange again. Um, tap off a little bit of the excess and then I'm just gonna wash that on the lid so the um, Browns have more of a base as well easier to blend And again going back with my fluffy brush Blend 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 I'm going to take this really, really orange color, Belgar. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Real Gar. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that, pop that into the crease. Oof, She's pigmented. Then blend that up again. And onto the lid. And again, I'm going to keep on blending. Okay, next I'm going to take warm taupe this warm taupe shade right here. And then I'm going to do, I'm gonna use a Sigma E25 brush. Um, this one kind of is like uh, the MAC 217, but it's more tapered. I like this for like soft washes or for um, light blending needs. Don't really like to use this in the crease as much though because it is so, it's almost like a, I don't know, it's really dense. 
just gonna blend that out with uh, do some tea. And then I'm gonna take Cypress Umber, this dark brown shade right here, with that same brush. And I like to start more in the outer corner and really pack most of the color right there and then kind of blend it up, you know? I mean, not up, like towards the inner corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna take another brush and just blend again. Okay, next. I'm gonna take this pencil brush. Um, it's MAC 219. Looks like so. Um, but I'm gonna take the Cypress Umber, that really, like, warm brown again and I'm gonna take my 217 and kind of run it along the lash line right in here to keep um, so it almost smokes up oh oh got some follow up ah, ah, one just gonna brush that away really fast and then go back to that darker color along the lash line and I'm gonna blend that in again. I'm going to take um, just like a brush, just like this. I don't. I it came in a Sonia Kashuk brush set. I love it, and I'm. It has a little bit of translucent powder on it. I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. Um, it doesn't make a ton of difference, but I just kind of like right in here to be more straight edge, you know what I mean? And then this is very redundant, but just blend that out a little bit. Yeah, let's do some more blending. I think I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my eyeliner, my favorite liner of all time. It is the NYC, if it'll focus, the NYC liquid liner. And I'm just gonna make a really, 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 if possible, thin line along my lash line. Um, I like to do this because um, since I wear lashes, it makes the lashes look like they're not just out on their own. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Kinda just connects it, I think. So now that we have the liner done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes. Be right back. So I applied my lashes. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the lower lash line. So I'm going to take this Morphe E36 brush. Looks a little something like this. It's a pencil brush. And then I'm going to take Burnt Orange from the Anastasia palette. and just run that right along the lower lash line, like so. Just like that. And then I'm going to take a Morphe M508 brush. Um, this one is like a uh, brain fart. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, I It'll come to me. I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. So I'm gonna take the Cypress Umber, that very like warm brown shade, and pop that right underneath the lash line, like so. And I'm gonna take that other brush again and just blend it together. Just like that. And then I like to apply a white liner in my waterline. Um, it really brightens up your eyes and I, I don't know, I like the look of it. Yeah, opens them up a lot more, so bear with me. Yeah, just like that. 
And then I'm going to do some Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the waterproof on the lower lashes because I'm watery, let's face it. You don't want all of this running all over the place. Just like this. Yep. Perfect. Let's finish the face. Oh wait, wait, I'm so stupid. I forgot. I use Champagne Pop, the highlighter by, uh, I'm gonna say Becca Hill, by Jaclyn Hill and Becca. I like to place that right in here. And this is just an e.l.f. concealer brush. These are my favorite brushes. I have, honestly, probably like three of them, three or four at least. And I'll pop that right in there, and in there, just like that. As you can see, I'm a little pasty right now. So what I like to start out with, um, with my face, is the NARS Laguna powder, the bronzing powder. Um, yeah, comes in a cute little guy like this. I guess I should cover that, just like that. Um, for bronzing today, I'm going to use the, again, with the rubbing of the names off. This is a MAC bronzing brush. I have no idea what it's called. 120 something, I think. I'm gonna dip her in there. And start at the cheekbones. Just like to run that right along the cheeks. Um, I like to go on my forehead because, as you can see, I got a 10 head. So, let's try to make that a little smaller, shall we? And then, just to further deepen up my contour, I like to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and mix, yeah, these two shades together. And yeah, I'm gonna use a Morphe brush. It's an E4, like this angled bronzer-ish brush. And then I'm going to take that right at the corner of my ear and just deepen the contour. Also what I like to do, I don't typically nose contour every single day, so what I'll do is I'll take my brush and I'll pinch it, and then I'll just run it right down the sides of my nose, like so, right there, great. I'm just going to bronze this again because let's hide my big ass forehead, shall we? And then cheeks. I'm going to use the Milani blush. It's luminoso. I really, really, really like this blush because it kind of goes with the eyes. This is the blush I typically wear with this eye look. Um, yeah, it's very pretty, orangey, summery, a little glowy, all the fun stuff. And I'm going, to, going to take a Morphe E3. It looks just like so. The dipper in and go to town. Perfect. And for highlighting, uh, most times when I do this look, I like to do very again. Um, warm toned highlighters. So what I will use is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Peach Goddess right away for the first highlighter. And I'm going to use another Morphe brush. Surprise, I have a lot of these. Um, the Morphe M510. This guy, as you can see, it has been loved. So I'm gonna dip into this and pop around the cheekbones. Oh yeah. like a pinky peach. I'm obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. Also, I like to run this like right above my eyebrow. That's a fun spot to put it. Like the glow everywhere. And then another thing, I will just take my finger, run it down my nose, 
and right up here. I like my nose to look a little bit longer, so if you place it like right up here, it gives the illusion that it's like <laughs> snatched right in there. And then right over top of that, I like to go in with ice cold. Again, a Jeffree Star highlighter. It's like this uh, pearly shade. Um, gonna use the same brush, dip into that. And I only like to place this one like right on the high, high, high points of my cheekbones. Um, just because I feel like it can get a little bit intense. Right in there. And then maybe a little bit, yep, yeah, just right there. Damn. <sighs> so every time with this eye look, without fail, I like to wear um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics again. Um, the Velour Liquid Lipstick in shade Mannequin. Looks a little something like this. This is literally the perfect nude. I have never found anything that has come close to it. Um, yeah. I love it. Just gonna go ahead and apply this baby. And this is the finished look. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel so you can see new content coming out. Hopefully I'm gonna start putting out new stuff every week here. I'll try, bear with me. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions for looks you'd like to see, or any questions for me, feel free to comment down below. I'll get back to you. Thank you, bye.